So dear uh, candidates who have potential interest on MSC's infrastructure investment and finance, I'm very delighted to share the introduction of the program with you. I'm professor of sustainable transition in infrastructure and construction, uh, responsible as a program director responsible to operating the program. So MSC's infrastructure investment and finance is a premium MSC's within UCL's Butler School's uh, sustainable construction portfolio. So this is a very innovative MSC, considers the perspective of infrastructure investment and finance, and it's aimed to develop global leaders and professionals for the infrastructure sector. So we have plenty of guest lecturers and also in-house experts with expertise in infrastructure investment and finance with a huge amount of practical experience, including infrastructure developers, advisors to governments and advisors to business firms, asset managers, and the multinational development banks, such as the Asian Development Bank, the World Bank, European Investment Bank. And we aim to deliver cutting edge knowledge and industry practice, which you will be immediately feel useful right after the section. So the current structure of the program, uh, including eight core modules. So the first core modules is finance infrastructure, infrastructure finance, which uh, 0016, which takes place in the first half of semester. And then followed by infrastructure economic principle and the policy 0018. Also will be taught in the first half of the uh, term one. Then after the reading week, you will learn about infrastructure using a special purpose vehicle, SPV, which is very common in infrastructure finance and followed by a very much financial market dedicated class is infrastructure as an asset class. So how investor trader do uh, apply investment for infrastructure assets in the market. So after these four modules in term one, you will be able to have very, uh, very comprehensive and uh, integrated pictures on infrastructure investment and the infrastructure finance. And then after the Christmas break in term two, there will be another four core modules, which is more applied driven, including agency and transaction cost infrastructure projects. And in this module, we will invite world-class experts in carbon accounting, climate, uh, climate change to give you beyond, more knowledge beyond agency and transaction costs. So you will also learn about what's the climate uh, climate cost infrastructure development. And then we will have a risk modeling and asset management infrastructure projects. We will talk about how to uh, simulate a risk infrastructure development. And in this, then followed by a demand forecast, business cases and appraisal methods for infrastructure projects. So in this 0022, the, pro the, the module is uh, usually likely to be delivered mostly by our industry lecturers. So this, they will give you a lot of insights across different sectors in infrastructure, such as the uh, water treatment, transportation, airport, energy projects, and the sectors. And we will also cover a huge amount of uh, information on soft infrastructure, such as healthcare service, education, and then we, uh, we also have a 0023 module, which covered how to manage large projects and the program. And after turn two, we have a, obviously an Easter break and many students in this period will apply for internship jobs and try to secure a job in industry. And then we'll move into examination and assignments period, as well as a summer term uh, work on dissertation. So this is a brief overview about the structure of infrastructure investment and finance. So in the next couple of years, our curriculum will largely increase knowledge related to climate change in our program because infrastructure accounts for more than 80% of carbon emission and more than 70% of climate adaptation costs. So climate change is a major issue 
driven the transition of infrastructure. And fortunately, we have a team of expertise in this field, which can give you uh, world-class information and up-to-date knowledge in this area. We will also have colleagues like Professor Tim Broy will give you lectures on how our infrastructure system is evolving towards more smart infrastructure system, such as a bill information management, digital twin technology, blockchain, and other, many other technologies are currently frequently being applied to uh, uh, infrastructure development. So the whole ecosystem of infrastructure development and investment are changing rapidly, and you need to understand what is essential to this. So through the more through the program, you will learn pieces of information, and we will help you to bring bring it together uh, to make a very nice short-term and long-term perspective in terms of infrastructure investment. And we will help you to guide you to how to put the puzzles together and to make a nice pictures. And the, in, through the program, uh, some students may already have very strong finance background, but we also recognize some students may come from engineering and science background. And this is absolutely fine. And at the beginning of the program, we will give you some introductory courses on basic knowledge about finance. So we will talk about how to raise that by loan, by bond, and how to value this debt. And all essential knowledge related to corporate finance, corporate project finance will be learned uh, in the beginning of the program. And we will also open some pre-sectional classes related to math and the finance uh, before you join our program. You will also learn about equity valuation, equity finance, and uh, how to run uh, infrastructure fund in, throughout the program. So, once you understand equity finance and the bond finance and debt finance, you will be able to have a very nice full picture of the uh, of the sectors. So finally, I look forward to see your application and hopefully you have a successful application. We can see you uh, in the first on the first day in in the upcoming years. If you have any further questions related to this program, please don't hesitate and feel free to contact me if you want. Thank you very much.